you've spoken about them being dangerous. What do you think their relationship with violence is? I think Why that, is violence part of their approach to the external world? So from the best I understand it, that at the turn of the century, industrial revolution, we had sudden immense need for rubber, for hoses and gaskets and wires and tires and and the war machine. And the only way to get rubber was to come down to the Amazon rainforest and get the local people who knew the jungle to go out into the jungle and and cut rubber trees and collect the latex. Mm -hmm. And Henry Ford tried doing Fordlandia, tried having rubber plantations, but leaf blight killed it. And so you had this period of horrendous extraction in the Amazon where the rubber barons were coming down and just raping and pillaging the tribes and making them go out to tap these trees. Mm -hmm. And the uncontacted tribe said no. They had their six foot long long bows, seven foot long arrows with giant bamboo tips and they moved further back into mm -hmm. the forest. And they said, we will not be conquered. And since that time, they've been out there and it's, it's confusing because in a way they're still running scared a century later and their grandparents would have told them you know, the outside world, everyone you see in the outside world is trying to kill you. So kill them first. So can you blame them for being violent? No. Is this river still wild because loggers were scared to go here for a long time, for almost a century late? That's why this forest is still here? Yes. And so is it a human rights issue that we protect the last people on earth that have no government, no no affiliation, no language that we can explain. We don't know what their medicinal plant knowledge is. We don't know their creation myths. We know nothing about mm -hmm. them. And they're just out there right now with bows and arrows, living in the dark, surviving in the jungle, naked, without even spoons. Forget about the wheel. Forget about iPhones. They got nothing. And they're making it work. We don't know their creation myths. So they have a very primitive existence. But... Well, do you think their values, first of all, do you think their nature is similar to ours and how do their values hmm. differ from ours? This is complicated because the, the anthropologist in me wants to say that they have a, a historical reason for the violent life that they have. You know, they experienced incredible generational trauma some time ago and that and because they've been living isolated in the jungle that has permeated to become their culture they've become a culture of violence but yet the 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 contacted modern indigenous communities that we work with that are my friends that work here just the other day we were speaking to one of them who was pulling spikes out of your hand while he was explaining that he tried to help them mm -hmm. the brothers los hermanos he tried to help them. He tried to give them a gift. And what did they do? They shot him in the head. Yeah, he said, they're our brothers. And he tried to give them a bananas. Mm -hmm. Plantains. Plantains. Boat full of plantains. Mm -hmm. And they shot at him. They shot three arrows at him. And one of them actually hit him in the skull and put him in the hospital. And he got heli helicopter evacuated from his community. And so he's brave for surviving, but he's... Uh, He's a lucky survivor. They, they are incredibly accurate with those bamboo tipped arrows and those arrows are seven feet long. So when you get hit by one, they come at a velocity that can rip through you. And the range on a shotgun is way shorter than the range on a longbow. You're talking about a couple hundred meters on a longbow and they're deadly accurate. They can take spider monkeys out of a tree. And so there's stories of loggers and I've seen the photos of the bodies of loggers who attract, who attacked one of the tribes and the tribes hadn't done anything, but these loggers came around a bend. They started shooting shotguns at the tribe and the tribe scattered into the forest. And as the loggers boat went around a bend, they just started flying arrows, mm -hmm. took out the boat driver, boat skidded to the side. And then everybody was standing in the river and you can't run. And the tribe just descended on them and just porcupine them full of arrows Shotgun versus bow. There's a shotgun shell here, by the way. Yeah. From the from the loggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we picked that up yesterday. Was that yesterday? That was, I don't know. I don't know. 